Hi guys and welcome to your weekly horoscope for Monday the 18th of September going through until Sunday the 24th of September 2023. It is so nice here today and it's so kind of unusual for September for it to be this nice. It's like summer. It's, the weather is perfect. It's sunny. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful sun, Sunday morning. By the way, I went to see my mum the other day. She lives in Upper Austria and um, my sister was also visiting with her husband and her nephew, so it was really nice to see everybody. Um, but we were sitting outside talking, and I posted this on the community kind of tab of this YouTube channel, a picture of this row of satellites coming up over the horizon. It was so interesting to see, and it was like such a spectacle. And then we obviously Googled it, what is this, you know, and it was um, SpaceX satellites. And then I kind of started thinking about it, like how does one person have so much influence that they can change like the landscape of the sky? And then I started to think about, you know, how in future, like parts of the sky are going to be like property for different people. It was really kind of an eye opener. Oh, and the other thing we did that was really interesting is I used this app, the, the, I can't remember what it's called, but you kind of hold the phone over the sky and you move it around and you can see the formations and you can see the different signs of the zodiac, like Cancer and Virgo. It was so interesting. Anyway, so um, it's really nice to be outside. Someone um, asked why I film in the park, but I'm gonna make the most of this weather. Uh, the new place, I've filmed the monthly horoscopes for October already. I filmed those at home from my office. So if you want to see what that looks like, check out one of those videos. Okay, so this horoscope is for Monday the 18th, going through until Sunday the 24th of September. What I do in these weekly horoscopes is I go through each day of the week to see how the planets interact, what energy they create amongst themselves. And the point of these horoscopes is to try and get a sense of that energy so you can see where the easy things are, the potentials where you're supported naturally and where some of the potential pitfalls are and how you can kind of avoid those. Um, but what's interesting about this week is I wrote that, especially Monday and Tuesday, it kind of feels like Halloween has come early. There's a lot of water in the chart on Monday and Tuesday and your intuition is really heightened and you know not Halloween in the sense of dressing up but Halloween in the sense of things um, you know there's less light and you start to kind of get a sense of what else could be out there instead of just nature and sunshine but it's like a, a process of going inwards famously it said that the veil between this world and the next world is thinner and that you can kind of communicate and the first two weeks there is so much Scorpio water energy that intuitively things are going to be really heightened but then um as the week progresses it looks really solid it looks really kind of um you're 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 practical you're looking at things that are good and a nurturing of you in your life and of other people you're interested in the family and doing things as a team so it seems like a really wholesome solid good positive week here so i'm looking forward to this Starting with Monday the 18th of September, we've got the moon going into Scorpio at 3.58 in the afternoon. So the moon is the way you feel. The moon rules Cancer in astrology, a water sign. So it's not overly um, out of sorts being in Scorpio. Scorpio is about getting to the true core reasoning behind things and using the intuition to get that information. So um, with the moon going into Scorpio, all of those things which are supported by water, you're going to have an affinity for. Your connection to the higher realm spirit and that kind of spiritual, emotional, intellectual type of communication. Um, creatively, creatively, you'll be inspired if you work to kind of channel spiritual ideas or energy that's supported by the moon in Scorpio. And also any healing that's done is really the moon in Scorpio really supports any of that because again it's about getting to the cause of something and then bringing it to the light in order to heal and transform it. So the Scorpio moon then trines Saturn in Pisces, more water. Saturn is about security and structure and Saturn in Pisces is about finding some sort of footing when it comes to unconventional or spiritual ideas. Um, I feel, if you disagree with me, please leave your interpretation of Saturn in Pisces in the comments. And then it also sextiles Mercury in Virgo. And Mercury has gone direct. And Mercury is the communication planet. One of the signs that it rules is Virgo. And when Mercury is in Virgo, the switch is on the inward position. I want to learn and listen and assess and make sense of things so that I can get things organized. So the more I know, the more influence and power I have. So together with um, Mercury in Virgo and the Moon in Scorpio, you're really in detective mode here on Monday. So 
the spiritual kind of side of things is really going to draw your attention in some way. And like I said, the, the kind of partition between this world and the spiritual world is blood. So if you need to find answers for yourself, you know, like the high priestess in the tarot, or if you um, don't feel particularly connected and you want to try it out, the, Monday is a good day to try that. Um, and like I said, anything creative and healing is, is, is going to feel natural and much easier. So heightened intuition, creativity, and also a sense of yourself and understanding what is right for you and how you feel in the moment. I don't know about you, but sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to process things. Like if I get some news, then I've heard myself say, listen, I need to sleep on this to see how I'm actually feeling and how I'm going to process this. So um, Monday is a good day to kind of complete that process and to um, come up with an answer and to say, this is where I'm at and this is how I feel. So it's actually a good day to take stock of where you are in your life. Um, and to try again in a new direction and to pick up and to say, it doesn't matter if I've had 10 years experience or 20 years experience, this is the first day of the rest of my life and I'm now moving ahead with the circumstances I'm presented with. I'm gonna find alternatives and these are the things that I want to affect. These are the things I'm gonna do and I'm going to get started with. So again, it feels very kind of solid and self-reliant and quietly diligent, wow. Tuesday the 19th of September we've got the Scorpio moon forming in opposition with Jupiter in Taurus so that axis Scorpio and Taurus I always say is about taking charge of things or even taking control of things Taurus in a physical way Scorpio in an emotional way so the Scorpio moon forming this opposition being at, at odds or there's a standoff between them Jupiter is the lucky planet and in Taurus it's about take practical action you'll have a great time good things are going to come your way and then emotionally, it's about getting there and saying, okay, I agree, I'm gonna take a risk here rather than try and detect. And it um, opposes Uranus and Taurus as well. Uranus is the miraculous and the unexpected. So it's interesting because this may kind of cause some friction back and forth. Is the good luck and the answers, are they in here the way they were on Monday? Or is there good stuff for me out in the world? And I think on Tuesday, it's more about balancing it. It's more about um, multitasking and not just being inward looking but saying okay I, I'm still kind of paying attention to what my inner voice is telling me but I'm also taking action and looking at opportunities and circumstances and new things I can learn and experience in the real world. Um, it also squares Venus and Leo. I love that placement of Venus and Leo. Venus is like the Empress in the tarot. It's the planet of love and beauty and creativity and abundance and food and nourishment and life and all these good things. And in Leo, she's really center stage. She's like a performer, she's a, she's a leader, she's teaching, she's entertaining, and she's very, very self-confident and she likes to interact with other people and she's strong and resilient and optimistic. So with the planet of love and beauty being in that placement, anything new that comes in your life is going to have a particular value just because it is that. It's new and fabulous and the novelty hasn't worn off. Um, it also quincuxes Chiron and Aries, so your own kind of, um, will what do i want to do to improve things to make them more solid that features as well so um together with balancing things out inward outward underneath all of that is your desire to do something good so you can kind of trust your your actions i would say to a certain degree because you're not going to get yourself in a position this week i feel that fundament that ultimately harms you you know, if, you, if you've if you achieved something wonderful, you can either, you can reward yourself, right? And you can reward yourself by doing something really healthy and great. Or you can reward yourself by doing something which is really destructive and unhelpful. And this week, you're not going to go into destructive mode. I don't feel at all. There's no risk of that even. The Sun in Virgo opposes Neptune in Pisces. That always is an interesting um, opposition, I feel. If I'm looking at your birth chart, right? And if, if I'm trying to suss out if that person listens to their intuition or whether their intuition or intuitive abilities kind of feature largely in life, I look at what the Sun and, and Neptune are doing. If the Sun and Neptune oppose each other, then that person is very intuitive, but it feels foreign. If it's squared, then there's a back and forth, there's a negotiation between the intuition and let me kind of double check that with symbols and signs and divination system. And when Neptune is right on top of the sun, then the intuition is a core part of that identity, that personality. You know, some people appear to be very ethereal, you know? And um, 
but it's not often recognized by the person themselves and they often overlook it. Here we have the sun opposing Neptune and Pisces. So it seems like there's a big distance between the intuitive information that I'm getting Whereas the day before, on Monday, it was right there. So it's kind of shifted a little bit, but the sun in Virgo still is paying attention to that. And you won't feel, well, it's a good thing. You'll feel the intuition there, but it's not as, it doesn't demand your attention full time as it did the day before. So now you can balance things out. It doesn't lessen the amount of information that you can access though. Mars in Libra, Quincux is Jupiter in Taurus, so good luck comes by other people, by having experiences out there in the world and by connecting. So um, on Tuesday, Jupiter features really largely, good luck is on your side, it looks like an amazing day. By listening to your gut, you're really unlikely to go wrong on this day, so really check in with yourself. And also, as a side note, you know, if you do listen to your gut in situations in life, even if they don't work out, which on this day I think they will, but even if they don't, afterwards you can always say, well, it, that's what felt right for me at the time, and I went with what, what seemed okay with what I was working with. And in my experience, if you can say that, then anything that might be a, a regret or something that you do differently, you, at least you can say you were true to yourself and your feelings. So there's also really good potential when it comes to relationships, both, both personal and business related relationships. In fact, relationships in all aspects of your life are supported and it's a good day to connect with other people in all different kind of settings and contexts. Wednesday, the 20th of September, we've got the Scorpio moon. So the first three days are Scorpio, right? And that's why I get this sense of it's um, spooky and Halloween-y. So if you are interested in the hidden realms or the hidden aspects of life, um, those are those are going to be very satisfying if you look into those. So on Wednesday morning, the Scorpio moon trines Neptune and Pisces, huge amounts of intuition and creativity. It sextiles the sun in Virgo and Pluto in Capricorn. So we've got a combination of water and earth now, both feminine elements. And I like these two together because it's, I receive the guidance and then I take practical action based on it. In my experience, that's the best way forward. If you don't just self-will things, but you check in with your higher self. Is this something I should be doing? Yes, ding, ding, ding. Okay, I will go for it. The sun, um, not the sun, the moon enters Sagittarius at six minutes past one in the afternoon. So the moon in Sagittarius makes you optimistic, upbeat, um, outward looking. I'm not saying that Sagittarius is always upbeat, you know, people are people. And just because your sun sign is in Sagittarius, for instance, doesn't make you someone who's naturally happy all the time. But there's a because it's ruled by Jupiter, the lucky planet, which is associated with growth and making things bigger, and Sagittarius, this strong centaur with his bow and arrow pointing at a particular goal, there's a sense of movement and growth associated with the sign. And that's something I feel we kind of value because anything that grows that has its own life is going to be something that we can interact with. So the moon in Sagittarius, <clears throat> urges you to kind of look ahead and to say, what can I expand on? What do I enjoy? How can I bring more of that into my experience? What new things can I pursue? What are my goals at the moment? How do I feel pursuing those? So there's a sense of fun and, and movement and excitement and things kind of moving upward rather than down to the core of them uh, here on Wednesday. The Sagittarius moon then also squares Saturn in Pisces. So that is interesting because that also allows you, but in a very different way to kind of explore the realms of spirit and to get answers for yourself through the actions that you take instead of directly meditating on what is the truth here so it's the difference between like here sitting in the park and meditating and seeing what comes in or saying i'm going to uh, do this job you know especially i find like mundane tasks like if you do something repetitive like washing the dishes or like swimming laps in a pool or something uh, for me i get lulled into this repetitive kind of Thing, and through that I often get a lot of answers so it, again it's the movement right and it can be the repetition for me personally um, so see what answers you continue to get on Wednesday but we'll, they will feel very different the Sun in Virgo trines Pluto in Capricorn I understand what's going on therefore I want to make changes in my life I want to set new goals and I want to really look at the bottom line and see what I'm doing. It's really a great day to get, kind of get real with yourself and say, okay, what actually is this that I'm doing? Is it good? And again, it's that topic of, um, am I doing something that ultimately is good for me and other people or is it harmful? 
So on Wednesday, you are in a really good spot emotionally and in terms of organization and feeling like you're on top of your life. If things have been chaotic or unclear lately, it's a good day to write out an action plan to get things back under control. And then later on in the day, as um, the moon shifts from Scorpio to Sagittarius, the, the, your focus does shift from the emotional and the intellectual to things that are associated with the physical and movement and energy and drive. So exercising or being out in nature or doing something with friends, that all of those things are going to feel good. Um, on third, And that seems so wholesome to me, Wednesday. It looks like a really wholesome day to do something with people that who you care about, who you're close to, and just to enjoy the simple pleasures in life. Thursday, the 21st of September, we've got the Sun in Virgo forming a trine with Pluto and Capricorn. So the way it was the day before, so similar, I have made sense of things, I've analyzed them, I've understood and studied, I've been very good. Now, of course, I'm, I'm prepared to make changes and I want to make changes. Sagittarius moon squares uh, Mercury in Virgo. And I wasn't aware of this, but I really like that combination because the Sagittarius moon is the optimism that Mercury in Virgo doesn't have on its own. It's just about making sense of things and understanding. So the combination of I understand I and I am optimistic and enthusiastic about the future, I think is unbeatable. It then trines ultra positive Venus in Leo, which I described earlier, and Chiron in Aries. Chiron is the wounded healer. And in Aries, it's really, I'm interested in my own healing. It also forms a sextile with Mars in Libra and it Queen Cuxes Jupiter in Taurus. So the connection to others is still there and the ability to get on easily with people. And the Queen Cux of Jupiter, there is good luck waiting out there for me somewhere. I just need to go and find it. So it's a nice combination of previous days and you can see that the, the moon forms so many relationships that almost it's a bit too much of a good thing. But I think if you combine all of these effectively and because you have been in such a good emotional spot leading up to Thursday, um, you're gonna be practical, fun-loving, goal-oriented and, and able to operate on lots of different levels. So you find it easy to work with others on Thursday and there's a sense of enthusiasm in the air and it's great to get a team together for a joint venture. So if you're planning something new that involves other people where you have to be the one that organizes and kind of brings the whole thing together, Thursday is fabulous for that. So I'm just thinking in terms of practicals. So Monday, Tuesday, the main relationship is with yourself and that's kind of quiet as far as I'm concerned. And then Wednesday and Thursday, more people come in, your life gets busier and it's good to kind of open up a little bit. I would say even on Tuesday, open up a little bit and kind of um, intend to do more things and to have variety because you're very unlikely to become overwhelmed. And like I said, you can really shine in lots of different areas of your life. So if that's work or your relationships, or your home life or whatever it is that's important to you at this moment. On Friday, the 22nd of September, we've got the Sagittarius moon forming a square with the sun in Virgo. So that's interesting because the day before we had the sun in Virgo with Pluto, Earth, Earth, Earth. Now we've got fire and Earth. And this may be a little bit of a <laughs> trivial picture but it's just so nice to me like if you take a piece of clay and you put it in you decorate it nicely right you put it in an urn and you you heat it up you've got a beautiful um, piece of ceramic there so it's kind of like by putting pressure on the circumstances or heating them up or really putting some emotional core into it it becomes something of true value it transforms into something beyond what it was before and that idea of transformation or like upgrading <laughs> yourself you know that's always really appealed to me so with the Sagittarius moon and the sun in Virgo you still have that understanding of this is where I'm at and this is how I can upgrade things and then Neptune in Pisces is there and it also quincuxes Uranus and Taurus so the bigger picture is really accessible still so I'm just trying to think of a personality that it's a visionary who can do great things Yeah, so you're looking at, Neptune gives you a sense of this is what could be, this is what I could manifest. And Uranus and Taurus makes you very comfortable with the inherent change that's gonna be involved in doing those things. So if you see yourself living in a different country, in a different life, then you know at the very least, there's gonna be a plane ticket involved, a practical thing that gets you there. And you're, just because there are practical considerations, that's not gonna put you off or close it off to you you'll be able so for instance like I want to do this but there are visa requirements and and 
employment things involved and if at other times you're like oh that's too complicated maybe not maybe i'll go in a different direction on friday you'll be able to face something like that despite the difficulties the moon goes into capricorn at 7 20 in the evening and the capricorn moon then sextiles saturn and pisces so the end of the day i feel is really quite quiet and comfortable and easy again it's water and earth yeah and i mentioned the fire and um earth thing being a vase i'm just thinking of um, earth and water is like it's like food it's like yeah nature's way of nourish so it's emotional nurture and physical nurture but then if it's too much you see if uh, i'm just thinking out loud here but if it's too much then it becomes mud so it's about balancing things out and i think on friday yeah it feels i said initially it was kind of quiet but i would even go further with that now and and it may feel like a little bit of a come down because you've done so much and so many things have been happening. So on Friday, I would really say deliberately keep the energy up and high and do something that almost like celebrates the week and says, listen, you've done really well. Let's do something really fun on Friday night. So um, during the day here with the um, shift in before the shift into Capricorn of the moon, there's still this great upbeat kind of can do attitude floating around. And there's a willingness to jump into action and to get things organized and prepared. There's a real sense of internally, I feel kind of solid and structured. What steps can I take in life so that my life reflects that inner solidity via outer solidity? But I, again, like I said just now, I, I don't think it's just about getting things organized and put in place. At the end of the day, I think you should celebrate all your hard work and just literally take some time off and deliberately you yourself think, bring some fire and air into the chart to dry out the mud a little bit and to make it solid ground again. Yeah. Okay. Then on Saturday, the 23rd of September, we've got the sun going into Libra at 5.50 in the morning. So happy birthday to the Libras. Uh, Venus in Leo trines Chiron in Aries. So um, good relationships and you're not at risk of being unduly influenced or being a pushover. If you struggle with being overly codependent or you have kind of separation anxiety or something like that, Saturday is a good thing to do something by yourself and to really enjoy it. The Capricorn moon squares Mars in Libra and Chiron in Aries. It also trines Mercury in Virgo, Jupiter in Taurus, and it quincuxes Venus in Leo. So this is a buildup of a lot of different influences that I already mentioned earlier in the week, but that was kind of handleable if that's a word you could manage it but on saturday um i think things may feel a bit too much like i'm being pushed and pulled in lots of different directions here so that's why i feel this is a great day to take off and have fun to just kind of put things down for a little bit and to say i will get back to them but i have achieved a lot i want to take a moment to breathe um, entertainment, travel, and spending time with other people that will feel light, easy, and enjoyable. And I think that's because of the Libra and all the, the fire that we've also got here in the chart on Saturday. It's a good day for a family outing. So doing something like, you know, going to a thing that the kids would love or sightseeing. On a deeper level, it's a great opportunity to strengthen relationships, to reconnect, especially if you haven't seen another person in a long time. And to, re you know, some friendships or relationships, you, you reconnect and it's like no time has passed at all. And that's always such a satisfying feeling, isn't it? Like years have gone by, maybe even, but fundamentally the way we connect and our dynamic and our relationship is unchanged. It can be really reassuring. Finally, on Sunday, the 24th of September, we've got a pile on and I'm going to read you everything the planets are doing. There's so much going on. So we've got the Capricorn moon, which if any moon could deal with a pylon of energy, it's Capricorn because Capricorn is so um, much about sorting things out and making them uncomplicated so that you can move ahead. The Capricorn moon conjuncts Pluto in Capricorn, so you're willing to make changes happen. Squares Chiron in Aries for me. Trines Uranus and Taurus, even if that's difficult or complicated or, you know, like I said um, on one of the previous day where obstacles could put you off because they seem so difficult, won't put you off on Sunday. <clears throat> Sextiles, Neptune and Pisces and Quincuxes, Venus and Leo. So there's a sense of fun and the bigger picture involved. Mars and Libra opposes Chiron and Aries. Me or them. The moon goes into Aquarius at 10.29 in the evening. So the moon in Aquarius is very much about new ideas that don't exist just yet. The moon in Aquarius then in itself trines. Do you see him go in the background there? 
that's why to be honest that's why i came back to this park because the 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 it's on this hill i have to walk up the hill to get here and the it, it's so nice with in the morning here with the sun coming over the different hills and stuff but also these little woods and the little squirrels okay the moon in aquarius trines the sun in libra air lots of air so um invigorating conversations interesting discussions the sun in libra quincuxes saturn in pisces connection with the higher realms as well so it's like where do i go do i connect spiritually do i have fun with other people do i work do i go out at, you know, do I meditate? Do I go in with? Sunday the 24th overall, there is a lot going on by the planets now as things change. And because of that, you feel pulled and pushed in lots of different directions. Um, the multitasking is a good thing, but again, if possible, like the day before on Saturday, if you can take it off and just kind of put a, put a break or pause on things so that you can just kind of feel carefree and do uh, and do things that you enjoy on the weekend i think it's the best rather than trying to manage everything i think the main blessing of sunday is that you can learn through other people and that there will be enjoyable conversations to be had so it takes all the boxes you know you're multitasking you're getting the information you're being productive in some way but you're having fun and you're going outward so i think if you have an interest in that or um you're able to connect and do something that seems lighthearted. You'll find a lot of new ideas and information that will then, ironically, help to solve some really serious problems. So it's by having fun on the weekend that I think you'll have the most valuable outcome rather than really doing a lot of hard work over the weekend and then feeling frustrated by it. That's sometimes really, you know, a difficult concept to, to come to terms with that being totally carefree and just um, expanding on that sense of joy can often be much more productive than eight hours of solid like paper pushing you know yeah okay so that's what I get for you this week it looks really like I said good and solid and helpful so I'm really looking forward to this I hope you have a great week um have a look at some of my other videos I made a video on the um the was it the new moon in Virgo recently um we're also going into um, a very kind of significant eclipse season in October and I talk about those in um, the monthly horoscopes for October so check out some of the other videos that I've got up on the channel at the moment that we're really heading into a very kind of significant time here um, so I hope that gives you a sense of this week yeah do check out some of my other videos if you like this video then give it a thumbs up please hit subscribe and share the video online so other people can see it that would be super helpful if you have if you can do that that would be great um if you would like a personal reading with me to look at your birth chart and your particular energy if you're questioning you know what's coming up in future or you've got a question around a relationship or your financial situation or really if you you know choose path a path b what are the potential outcomes if you're questioning um specifics like a move or um uh, a friendship or anything like that please do get in touch with me for a personal reading in my personal readings i use astrology the tarot numerology and my intuition and i use all four things at the same time to answer any questions you may have and the point of the readings is to give you some clarity and insight into yourself and what 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 the kind of easiest and best way forward would be so if you're interested in any of that please do get in touch with me for a personal reading and um, i hope you have a great week all the best take care